Lemony Snicket has very little on the Avs after this most recent series of unfortunate events. Halfway through the second, McKinnon has the puck, does a quick cutback in the Kraken zone when he bumps skates with Borgen. The two of them fall down, Matt coughs up the puck, no call is made, which I agree with, and he's furious. He even chops the stick at the refs. Yikes. Play continues down the ice, Jordan Eberle has the puck, he goes for a skate, wheels behind the net and finds Ty Karachi waiting in the slot as he one-times home the puck as the Kraken take a 2-1 lead. Just an absolute piss missile into the net and and that's Cartier's first career goal in his first National Hockey League game. Way to go. You love to see it. And of course, his mom and pops found their way into enemy territory to cheer him on. They get to see that live again. You love to see it. Seattle would hold their lead into third, where they would add another one early as Yanni Gord has a nice redirection in off the Susie point shot. That makes it a two-goal lead with just under two minutes into the third, and that would be your game winner. Evan Rodriguez would get one late for the Avs when they were pressing with an empty net, but he just could not find the late equalizer. McKinnon was flying absolutely all night, just all over the ice, had a couple close chances. He was skating his balls off, but he couldn't get it done. I really thought he might tie it up, but alas, not to be had. And now the Kraken in their first ever playoff series take a 3-2 series lead against the defending Stanley Cup champions, heading back to Seattle with a chance to make history. Do you think the Avs will make a comeback with Makar back next game, or will the Kraken make it to the second round before the Leafs can? I'm also curious about your thoughts on the McKinnon trip. To me, that was boring borderline it felt a lot like incidental contact i could see it being called but if you're mckinnon you gotta get up the ice so you can get the line change and give your team the best chance at defending the goal also, you may have seen in the community post that I've been talking about starting an NFL-style channel like this. Well, it's been started with pre-draft coverage with the first video out right now. Please only watch and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in the NFL and other football leagues. But we're going to be bringing this exact type of coverage with a full team to the NFL, and don't worry, it won't impact hockey. My true love.